Suppose the denominator of your system model under study, FFS, comes up as a combination of repeated and complex roots. Let us simplify the model so it can be locked up in the Laplace transform table. As shown, the first term in the denominator is the repeated root, with a maximum repeating order of 2. Simplifying this will be as discussed in the previous videos. The second term in the denominator cannot be factored into real terms. This leaves us with two possibilities for the second term. Either deal with the complex roots and the partial fraction, or keep the second order term in the denominator with its numerator first order polynomial. However, as we did in previous exercises, in this exercise we will factor the second term into complex roots and solve both by hand and MATLAB. Finding first the complex root, we can then expand the fraction as we did before. Typically, this is not how you want to proceed if you are working by hand, but maybe it's easier to use computer solutions. Expanding the fraction, we get the following. Remember, coefficients c and d are both conjugates of each other, so you only need to find either coefficient c or d. In addition, coefficients b, c, and d can be found using the cover-up method. This is because the denominators of coefficients c and d are non-repeating, and the denominator of coefficient b is the highest repeating order. On the other hand, coefficient a can be found using differentiation. Since the denominator of coefficient a is only one order less than the maximum repeated order, which is 2 in our case here, then based on the equation discussed in previous videos, coefficient a can be found by applying the first order derivative to the expression used to find coefficient b. Using the cover-up method, we could find the coefficient c. Evaluating the fraction at s equals to minus 2 minus 3j, we get the following. We then further simplify the expression and eliminate j in the denominator by multiplying by its conjugate.
now we have obtained the coefficients a b c and d we can rewrite the fraction f of s as a sum of simpler fractions this will allow us to use the Laplace table to find the inverse for our system under study Using the fundamental properties in the Laplace table, mainly in line 2 and 5 as shown here, we could find the inverse Laplace of f of s. Expanding the last two terms of f of t, we get the following. Then, taking e to the power of minus 2t, as a common factor and rearranging the terms we get the following Multiplying the numerator and the denominator of the last two terms of f of t by 2 and 2j respectively, we get the Euler identities for sine and cosine. We can then rewrite the inverse Laplace of our model as follows. Let's now verify the inverse Laplace in MATLAB using the I Laplace function. In MATLAB, you can derive the inverse Laplace transform with the symbolic math toolbox. It will be first necessary to convert the numerator and the denominator vectors to their symbolic equivalents. If you don't have the symbolic math toolbox installed, please check the previous video for more information. Looking at the MATLAB ILAPLAS function results, you may notice the multiple parentheses in series, which could be confusing sometimes. So it's always advisable you review term by term and if needed rewrite the MATLAB result in a more convenient form.
Matching the results obtained in MATLAB with those done by hand, it's clear that the results match nicely.